the greatest threat to the destruction of humanity, according to Microsoft founder Bill Gates, Tesla CEO Elon Musk, and the late physicist Stephen Hawking, is AI, or artificial intelligence. Could they be right? Or have they been watching too many science fiction movies? If anyone other than these three highly intelligent people had made the same statement, you could write them off as crackpot pseudoscientists. But given that these are three preeminent and highly intelligent people, you have to take this seriously. First, what is AI? Quite simply, it is a type of machine intelligence. It already exists. Siri on your iPhone, which is speech recognition, and vision recognition systems of self-driving cars from like Tesla. These are low-level forms of artificial intelligence. High-level forms of AI would be self-learning machines and perhaps even conscious, such as the Arnold Schwarzenegger character from The Terminator, or the robots in Westworld, which are at least as intelligent as humans. These don't exist yet, but we are probably going to get there in this century. Ray Kurzweil, director of engineering at Google, is a famous futurist who predicted the rise of the internet and the fall of the Soviet Union. He believes that AI will be vastly more intelligent than human beings by the year 2045. This is the point at which there will be nothing that humans can do that an AI machine could not do better. That's less than 30 years from now. Does this mean that humans will be destroyed at that point? Hmm. No, I don't think it means that. Does it mean that humans may be redundant or mostly useless? Probably yes. If AI does become much more intelligent than humans, yes, they may possess the capability to destroy us. But the question is, not can they? The question is, would they? To answer this question, we have to figure out why they would be destroying us. They would not destroy us for fun. These would be highly logical, intelligent beings. They would not be like humans who sometimes kill to satisfy an emotional need or just for the heck of it, for no reason at all. There would have to be a reason. For example, we are much more intelligent than ants, but we don't go around destroying anthills or killing ants for no reason. We only kill them when they encroach on our homes or threaten our comfort or health. We also kill less intelligent animals to eat them. Now, let me answer that question first. Would the AI machines need to eat us? Highly unlikely. They would be powered by electricity, probably solar power or fusion, which is limitless and highly efficient. They wouldn't bother with the highly inefficient forms of energy like consuming food or meat. That would not be smart. This form of energy consumption is highly inefficient and converts very little of the food into useful energy. And it comes with all kinds of problems, such as the need to poop, for example, and filter all the toxins contained in the, in the meats through a liver or a kidney or some such machine. AIs would likely be much better built than the organic machines created by billions of years of evolution. They would be created by intelligent machines. On the other hand, it is quite possible that AI machines may need us humans. Humans tend to be unpredictably creative and sometimes just illogically crazy. This could work to the AI's advantage. We would provide a source of kind of a mutation in the AI programming that could create even more intelligent creative AIs. Would they kill us if we're encroaching on their ability to survive like we kill ants or other lesser animals? Or if we were pests like rats are to us? I don't think so. This need to survive is innate in all biological creatures because we evolved that way. Any creature that did not want to survive did not reproduce, so became extinct. AIs probably will not have this overwhelming desire to survive or reproduce because they will not have evolved. They will have been created initially by humans. So presumably, we would have programmed them to serve the needs of human beings. Just like all computers are programmed by humans, to do certain tasks and compute with a set of algorithms. The AIs would have been created from this kind of programming as well, and we will have taught them to serve human beings. However, it is possible that some malicious human being may program the AI to destroy humans, but this would also mean the destruction of that malicious human too. It would be like suicide. This is not impossible, and I think this is what we have to be careful of. AIs will give us great power. It has the potential to solve most, if not all, our problems, like finding a cure for cancer, finding ways to save our planet. It will also give us the power to destroy. The question is, will we humans use that power for good, or will we use that power for evil? If AI is used for evil, it is not the AI that will destroy us. It will be other human beings.
Hey guys, did you find that interesting? Maybe you looked at something from a different perspective? I'd love to hear from you. Please put a comment below if you agree or disagree with anything or have something to add that I could learn from. Please subscribe now and send me your questions. If I like it, I'll make a video on it. Promise.